Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else marriage hey hey guys and welcome welcome back to the channel this video is being sponsored by everyday husband quotes app.com it is a journal slash notebook website but my girl mo is stepping into this new season with new accessories right now her five collection of earrings have arrived and she is serving major discounts to my friends here on youtube no special code is needed so check out the site by visiting the link in the description box so love and marriage huntsville season two is gearing up for the reunion one topic to be discussed Discussed is Melody Holt versus Kimmy Scott. Now, I didn't know they had beef, but my, 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 how things have changed. Y'all know how little things turn into big things real quick in these social media streets. And that's exactly what it is for Melody and Kimmy. The beef started on the mid season finale where Melody was addressing Martell about Kimmy being too touchy feeling. And honey, fans gave Melody the blues on her social media about making that comment on the show so melody spoke up for herself and ex fans was y'all giving that same energy when kimmy commented in the kitchen about the side chick and those two comments are what i'm here to talk about today y'all melody's comment about kimmy being too touchy feeling with martell and kimmy mentioning martell's side chick so it's a lot to unpack and i don't know if this is fake beef or real beef but i am here for it all honey so to my surprise this beef goes back to episode two of season two on love and marriage honey Huntsville. And just to recap that episode, we see Martell show up to Kimmy's house to initially thank her and her husband Maurice for coming to their baby shower. And we all know that Letitia Scott and her husband were not invited. Well, while Martell was there at Kimmy's house, Kimmy is the one to bring up Martell's mistress. And just to jog our memory, this is how the conversation went. So Martell starts the conversation by saying Melody is the happiest she has ever been in a long time. And Kimmy says well that's good and Martell says this effort that she is putting in and that I am putting in as well then Kimmy blurts out and says well if Melody is the happiest then your mistress is the unhappiest and Martell gets her together real quick honey by saying she is the side chick don't even say her name she's the side chick so Kimmy says I'm not going to call her a side chick and we don't have to talk about it but I'm just saying it's unfortunate that so many people are like collateral damage i don't feel like at this juncture that's what she deserves because melody don't deserve it to be hurt and sad and embarrassed or any of that so nobody deserves it as a human and martell tells kimmy everybody but me i think i put everybody through by trying to be greedy so y'all martell is implying that he deserves the backlash from cheating but not anyone else who may be involved and i honestly want to say that i took what kimmy was saying in that moment to martell is a positive conversation you know she was calling Martell out on his stuff and being a supportive homegirl slash friend towards Melody in that conversation. And I'm glad Kimmy called Martell out on his situation. But I am also glad she didn't call this girl Martell had an affair with a side chick. It shows so much class from Kimmy even though that's what the young lady was but honey obviously melody didn't feel the same way that your girl feel now keep in mind kimmy has denied knowing martell's mistress she said if the mistress was sitting right next to her that she wouldn't know who she was but she doesn't deny that her husband maurice has met her because the mistress worked at a club in huntsville and it sounds like a lot of people knows this mistress because the club she worked at was a popular club for the small area of huntsville so y'all melody did eventually clap back on her instagram live and she addressed that conversation from episode two and said when martell went over to kimmy and maurice's house in that conversation she felt like kimmy was advocating for a side chick and she addressed the way how kimmy is very touchy with martell as well um and let me say this too just so y'all know i did address even with martell because some of y'all was like i've seen y'all adding me and all y'all's comments well martell went over to kimmy and i addressed him about that like Hold on, you what? 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 You went over to their house to have a meet with Kimmy. I addressed. I checked him. Like, period. Period. Um, that's just what it is. Period. Don't be going over. No. Mm -mm. No, I, I said what I said, and there's reasons why I said what I said. And if y'all don't like it, I'm sorry, but yeah. Anyway, um, let me see what some of y'all are saying. Thank you for owning your coming. Absolutely, I'm never going to backtrack on anything I say because I really mean what I say and when I speak something it's substantiated and there's truth or there's reason why period there's reason why 
So that was that. And Melody continues the conversation by saying, I would hope that for the same people that have the energy or feel bothered by me feeling some kind of way with someone who can be touchy feeling with my soon to be ex husband, did y'all have that same energy when my husband went to her home and he was bragging about how much of a great place we were in and how happy he was? And she was kind of advocating for a side chick. How did y'all feel about that? Melody says, Was y'all mad? Was y'all commenting and adding her saying that's not a good friend? Because because not one of my good friends, husbands, fiancés, boyfriends, nobody could ever come to me and be bragging on the space that him and my friend are in. And I'm going to bring up someone he's been messing around with or somebody who has assisted in bringing pain to my friend. I'm not about to do that, Melody says. Sorry, but no. So did y'all have that same energy? If you didn't, then take a look in the mirror because you're hypocritical right now. Let one of my friends, I'm gonna tell y'all right, let one of my friends boyfriend fiance husband anybody come to me talking about how my friend is feeling happy i ain't about to bring up who he been messing with on the side i'm sorry but i'm not was that friendly like what there's no way i would i'd be asking my friend girl what you want to do you want to do something we need to handle this like what's up <laughs> but i'm not <laughs> about to be well this person seems to be the unhappiest well i'm not gonna call her no we'll call her whatever you want to call her girl what do you want to call her let's go like that's how i would be i'm sorry so if y'all are offended by what i said because of how i feel in terms of somebody maybe sometimes being too touchy feely with my soon to be ex husband y'all are offended by that then you also need to be offended by that and keep running all of that around like everywhere keep it 100 everywhere that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying so y'all, before I wrap up this video, you know, I can understand Melody's viewpoint, but we have also known Kimmy for the past two seasons. And honey, she doesn't appear how Melody is portraying her to be. But let's talk about it in the comment section of this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.